Welcome back and thank you for joining me. You're here with Greyboard Gamer. Continuing my quest to stop Azathoth in my playthrough of Eldritch Horror. At the beginning of this turn, we still have a lot of work to do. We still have our next mystery to work on. We gotta get rid of this Secrets of the Past Mythos card because once it starts triggering it can move us closer to the end of the game. We have three open gates and monsters to deal with. We have a lot going on. First thing I want to do is I'm going to give Norman a break. He's had great leadership, but I think he might be wearing out. He's getting tired. So I'm going to pass the lead investigator here to Akachi and let her be our lead investigator for this turn. Our new lead investigator, Akachi, is going to go first. Right now she's in that city right outside of Tunguska. She's at full health. She doesn't have any conditions she needs to worry about to get rid of by resting. So I'm going to get her her train ticket and have her prepare for travel for later use. And then I will use her second action to move her into Tunguska so she can have an encounter with our mystery card. After Akachi, we have Jim who is detained I'm sorry, not detained. He is delayed in San Francisco. So all Jim can do is stand up. I was going to leave him there anyway. It's just a shame that he doesn't get to do any actions. Mark is in Istanbul. I want to get rid of this gate. I want to get rid of this star spawn. The star spawn already has two damage to it. I'm going to move Mark there. And then I'm going to use Mark's second action from his action on his card that says you and one monster on your space each lose one health. So Mark will be down to six health and the star spawn will now be down three health and even though Mark doesn't have the kerosene that he had before to attempt to take care of the star spawn it doesn't have as much health left and maybe he'll be able to do a few damage and knock that thing out of here for us. Our good friend and leader Norman is here on the west coast of Africa. We want to get him closer to the heart of Africa to take care of the secret to the past. We'll move him one space closer into the city. He still has a lot of wounds that he has to take care of. I'm going to rest Norman, take his health up one to three and then also recover one sanity and put him back to his max of seven. Our player's actions are completed. First we're going to start with our lead investigator Akachi in Tunguska and she's going to have the encounter that is allowed on our mystery card. An investigator on Tunguska may attempt to search for signs of the impact in the dead forest. She's going to have to do an observation check, which she has a current observation of two. Akachi is looking for that impact site in Tunguska. We really need her to do a good job. Oh my! Now that is a miserable failure. Now with that miserable failure, Akachi would fail. But I'm going to spend one of her clues. She has three. I'm going to spend one to re-roll a die and take a chance. And if she's successful, she can use the two she has left. She is! That was good luck. If we pass, we discover a strange green meteorite and may spend two clues to place one Eldritch token on this card. We will definitely do that. She has two clues remaining, which we will spend, and we'll take an Eldritch token and place it on our mystery card. We are halfway to solving this mystery. Jim Culver is in San Francisco with the gate. He's going to attempt to close. This time the gate opens to Yagoth. You discover a fetid creature with wings and webbed feet. The beast is strange, 
like something from your wildest dreams. You may spend one clue to resolve the pass effect. If you do not spend the clue, resolve the fail effect. You have to make a choice. Do we want to spend one of his four clues? I think he failed so miserably last time with that ridiculously bad die roll that we will spend one clue to resolve the pass effect. You believe you've read of a way to use this beast to travel through space. I need to do a lore check. Jim has a current lore of three. Is he going to be able to figure out how to use this creature? He is. We have one success. If you pass, you remember that by drinking space mead you can safely use this buy a key to return home. Close this gate. Even though he was delayed, he was able to get himself going and successfully close that gate. Mark in Rome has some work to do against this star spawn. The star spawn has taken some damage, but first we have to do the will test at a minus one and try to get at least close to three. Mark has a will of five. This check is at a minus one disadvantage. How many successes can Mark get? One, two, three. That is excellent. That is a great job by Mark. Mark was able to avoid any loss of sanity with that result. Next we have to do our, our strength test. Mark has a strength of four. And then he has the 38 revolver which will allow him to gain two additional dice. But the strength test against the star spawn is at a negative three disadvantage. We only get three die. We're hoping for at least two successes here and we get none. That's terrible. With no successes on that strength check, Mark lost three health and is down to three. The star spawn, although injured, is still protecting this gate in Rome, which we were not able to close, leaving us with two open red gates and an omen track that may move forward soon. Finally, we have Norman here in South Africa to have an encounter in a city. The police ask for your help investigating a series of ritual killings. The grisly crime scenes threaten to overwhelm you with chills and nausea. So he needs to do a will test. Norman's will is four. And he still has his blessed condition, so fours will also count as successes. We have one success. If you pass, you manage to examine the scene and find significant information. Spawn one clue. We don't gain a clue, but we will get another one out on the board. At Arkham, over here where this gate is located. That will end our encounters phase. We managed to close a gate and solve half of our mystery in Tunguska. Mark didn't do too well against the star spawn and Norman, Norman did okay and spawned us another clue. Now we have our mythos. Which first, we're going to move the omen track. That's bad news. The omen track will move to the red gate symbol. 
because we have two red gates out, Doom will move two steps closer to the end. And now our Doom track is on 9. Next, we will do our Reckoning effect, which will first affect the monsters on the game board. We have the Hound of Tindalos. And as we've experienced previously, his Reckoning effect moves him to the nearest space containing an investigator and then immediately encounters it. So the Hound is definitely going to move over here with Jim and have an encounter. First we will perform the will test. It's not at a disadvantage, but the creature has a will of two. Jim has a will of three against this Hound of Tindalos. Has one success. With that one success, Jim will lose one sanity and be down to three. This is a combat encounter, so he should have rolled an additional die. That's his passive ability, he says that Jim investigators on a space roll of an additional die on resolving test during combat encounter. Since he is encountering it, I'm going to roll one additional die on his mental, I'm sorry, his will test. And he was unsuccessful, so the result would have stayed the same. Now we need to do his strength test, which he has a strength of three and no modifiers or items on his card, but for his passive ability he will get one additional die. This test comes at a minus one against the Hound, so he only gets to roll two. The Hound has a strength of three, and he is unsuccessful all the way around and will take three health damage. This has been a very damaging series of events, and we'll take him down to just two health. Jim's in bad shape. The Hound of Tindalos will stay in San Francisco and we continue with our reckoning effects. Next we have the Serpent People that are in the Amazon. And we will roll one die. On a one or a two, the nearest investigator moves one space towards this monster. So we're going to roll one die and see if that happens. Will one of our investigators become charmed by the Serpent People? No. Another monster with a Reckoning effect here in Rome is the Star Spawn. Roll one die. On a one or a two, advance Doom by one. Is Mark Harrigan's inability to take out this Star Spawn going to move us one step closer to Doom? No, it's not. That will take care of all of our monsters that have Reckoning effects on them. The mummy doesn't have any. The Ancient One sheet would be next, which does not have a Reckoning effect. And the next we would have Mythos cards that are in play, which is our Secrets of the Past, which are going to come back to bite us. We're going to search the Expedition Encounter deck for each card corresponding to the active expedition and return those cards to the game box. We have our expedition deck here that was currently in the heart of Africa. So we need to remove all the cards that would correspond to the heart of Africa. One more go through and I think we got them all. Yes. That means the top of our expedition deck will now be in Tunguska, and that's where our active expedition marker will now be. Now thanks to that happening, Norman that was one step away from going to the heart of Africa to take care of this problem is now far away from it now that the expedition has moved to Tunguska. That takes care of our Reckoning for our Active Mythos card. And now we have to do our Reckoning effect for players' conditions and player items. 
Starting with our lead investigator, Akachi, she does not have any items that have reckoning effects. We move over to Jim, who does have his hallucinations. He's going to have to test his will, and if he fails, he will flip this card. Jim has a current will of three. Oh my goodness, Jim. That might be the end. He might go insane. Jim has failed his will check, so he will flip this card. That definitely doesn't look good. The voices. In the past, you've barely been able to hear the whispering at the edge of your consciousness. Now that the voices are more audible, you can hear the horrible demands they are making of you. Lose one sanity, then flip this card. So Jim is going to keep his hallucination, hallucinations, condition, and lose one sanity. He had three. That will take him down to two. Jim is dangerously close to being insane. Next we have Mark Harrigan, who has no reckoning effects on items or conditions. And lastly we have Norman Withers, who has a blessed condition that we have to roll a die. And on a one or a two, he will discard this card. Okay, Norman. Let's keep that blessed condition. Anything but a one or a two. We'll take it. Now that all the reckoning conditions are resolved, we have to spawn a new gate. That will appear in London. It is a blue gate in London. We need to spawn a monster. And we have drawn a cultist. It has a use the cultist information as listed on the Ancient One sheet. The cultist will go in London. And on our Ancient One sheet, cultists have a will of one, a health of one, and after resolving the will test, lose one health and defeat this monster. So, no matter what we do, we're going to lose one health when we fight the cultist. And then maybe some will, depending if we can pass that test or not. So all cultists that come out for Azathoth will behave in that manner. An article on the back page of the newspaper catches your attention. An unexplained attack on the remote outpost left no survivors. You've read about two other similar attacks happening in the same region. You can see that the forgotten corners of the globe are growing more dangerous. Ancient Guardians. Event spawned two monsters on the active expedition space. Well that is one big pile of suck. Because not only is Tunguska our active expedition space, but it's where we need to be for our mystery. And we won't be able to encounter any of those without first getting through another cultist and a Shogoth. And this is a tough one, because if we don't defeat it and there's a reckoning effect, it's going to recover all of its health. Both of these monsters will now end up in Tunguska to make it even more difficult for us to solve our mystery and stop the secrets of the past.
we need to get those monsters out of there. I think my only one of my only saving graces is here with Akachi. She has her Mists of Relay spell that she can choose a tester lore during the encounter and if she passes she can choose an encounter as if there's no monster there. And since she's already there, that's a good thing, but she doesn't have any clues to spend. That will take care of things for this turn. Things are much more difficult now than they were just a few turns ago. Our doom track is down to nine. We got three gates open. Monsters all around here. Two monsters on our active space where we have our mystery that we need to solve and our active Secrets of the Past Mythos card that's on the active expedition space. Akachi's there but has no clues. We need someone to take care of these monsters. We have a lot of work to do to feed Azathoth. We've got to get one more Eldritch token on that mystery to solve it move on to our third one. Got a lot of planning to do and a lot of actions to take. We'll have to move on to the next turns to see if our investigators can do it or if Azathoth is going to devour the world. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you in the next turn.